Hello everybody, we are back with another chapter of the book Message from the Teen in the Spirit World, The Big Journey by the Spirit Me Alicia. Today's chapter is Lessons, but um, let's just recap a bit. So the book Message from a Teen in the Spirit World is from a boy Carlos who is about 13 years old and um, he wrote a letter to his brother and um, through um, the medium Chico Xavier um, he wrote this letter to his brother about his experience um, regarding his um, illness, his death and his experience in the spiritual world. There was a, a, a lot of great lessons that we already learned through Carlos. Um, especially his observation about the spiritual world which, which is um, the same as on earth and he will tell us that the houses and the gardens and all these amazing, amazing things that he explains um, and that he's experienced that he um, you know tells us about all these things and also about the school that is now going to to help him one of the great lessons in this book is um, he had a hard time to um, get his thoughts together um, in the third, second or third chapter he had a very hard time and it shows us that we are connected mentally to everyone around us but let's continue with the lessons of course you will ask how we go about our schoolwork and right now I will tell you that work of this nature in our spirit complex is almost identical to that in the school on the, on the earth. There is an assorted and huge quantity of instructional material including text and workbooks. The approach that teachers use however is quite different. They don't only teach, they watch over and comfort and guide us. For example, I'm enrolled in a course on good behavior and emotional correction. I have noticed that the teachers don't neglect the intellectual aspects per se, but that are also interested in preparing us to understand the conditions relating to our new lives here. To do so, they make use of what to be already accomplished while on the earth. They don't upset us with premature revelations or with demonstrations that might alter our emotional stability. As a starting point, they take the experience we have already acquired and help us to develop them gradually without harm to our most pleasant thoughts. This is actually a great lesson. I get the impression that teachers here take our earthly knowledge as seeds of heavenly knowledge. So they don't overpower us with a weighty expectation, ex sorry, exposition of their own knowledge. They surround us with special attention and care so that our higher faculties will sprout and grow. What is really surprising though is the parental watch care that these selfless guides show us with a view to awakening our highest ideals. To, the end, to this end, the introductory course to the higher level classes is full of topics regarding the spiritual improvement we have to accomplish. Many hours are needed for carefully studying issues such as, and I think we need a paper and pen to write this down, what do we think about Christ? How do we receive the favor of nature? 
What are we doing with our lives? What are the objectives of our personal endeavors? What ideas do we nourish regarding time and opportunity? What is the cause of our thoughts? Are we utilizing for the good the instruments and abilities that the law of life has entrusted to us? Such topics, examined initially by our teachers in the profitable classes of spiritual renewal, during which we disclose our thoughts to each other through serene and honest stories, shed light on who we are and show us the extent of our needs because of the selfishness, indifference and laziness in which we have lived for so long in the earthly realm. Today this is a lesson for us. The chapter is lessons but I think there are a few lessons in this chapter that we can actually look at and see where we are, we are, where are we with this lessons in the spiritual world. Let me start here. The, th the first thing that that came across was when he, ex he uh, explained about how the teachers, the way that they are taught there. And I think this is a great example for us to see how we should help one another in this unique, wonderful way. It says, um, the approach that teachers use, however, is quite different. They don't only teach, they watch over, comfort and guide. This is something that we can look into ourselves, especially if we have children, because we are each other's teachers. For example, I'm a role in a cause of good behavior and emotional correction. Again, this is another question. Good behavior, and we know about the emotional correction because Carlos told us that we should control our thoughts and emotions. He is Aunt Eunice and his grandmother constantly helped him to work on his emotions and his thought process. Not only for himself, but also for his mother who had a hard time um, with his death. I've noticed that the teachers don't neglect the intellectual aspect as per se but that are also interested in, the prepare, in preparing us to understand the conditions relating to our new lives here. To do so, they make use of what we already accomplished while on earth. So they use what they already did, what they know about, and they work on that. And what is wonderful is, is, is they don't upset us with premature revelations all with demonstrations that might alter our emotional stability. This is something to look at when we work with our children. As a starting point, they take the experience we have already acquired and help us to develop them gradually, without harm to our most pleasant thoughts. So they don't upset them. They just help them to work towards their greatest aspects, their greatest accomplishments on earth, which is amazing. I get the impression that teachers here take our earthly knowledge as seeds of heavenly or seeds of heavenly knowledge. So they don't overpower us with a weightly um, exposition. exposition of their own knowledge. So they don't overpower with what they know and their position. They are there to help and assist. How beautiful is this? They surround us with special attention and care so that our higher faculties will sprout and grow. This is so beautiful. Hi Luciana and Saul. Thank you so much for joining. This is great lessons. I'm going to read the six questions again. So if you want to get 
pen and paper, I write it down so then I can look at myself. What is really surprising though is the parental watch care that these selfless guides show us with a view of awakening our highest ideal. And this is so amazing just to, to see how they are taken care of and how they are actually respected, each one according to their own way of being, which is so loving way to actually help one another. And then this, we're coming to this six questions that is part of the class that they are working on. And it's the same as Emmanuel said in the, in the book Thought and Life. In the preface he says that um, he asked for a book to give us that is the same as in the spiritual realm for the spirits to um, help them before they come back to earth to reincarnate. So that, they are, that this is the lessons that help them prepare themselves for reincarnation. And if you look at these questions, it is exactly um, the same thing that Emmanuel told us about thought and life. Um, and you can actually, if you go to thought and life, you can see most of these things that is explained in thought and life. It says here, yeah, many hours are needed for careful studying issues such as, and I'm going to read each one again, what do we think about Christ? I must say, through Spiritism, since becoming a Spiritist, the relationship and the knowledge and the example of Christ, um, it's a whole new thing for me. Um, especially through the book that I truly love is Jesus in the home um, in in Peter's house and this is my own experience so I, I, I think I have a, a whole new um, relationship with Jesus and with Christ and the way that I see and perceive and actually learn from um, his example I think spiritism just revealed this amazing way of being through his example. How do we receive the favor of nature? Which is not just appreciating, I think, but also be thankful for the food and everything that we receive in um, through nature that sometimes we take for granted. What are we doing with our lives? I think especially now in the whole world and where we are at in this in lockdown and all this um, this virus that's going around this is a great question to ask ourselves I think it's time to see um, we are not into this work and all you know how you just think about how how you can get caught up in these things it's now time to think what are we doing with our life? What is important, I think, um, which is a great thing. We have a lot of time to think about this question. What are the objectives of our personal endeavors? Where do you see yourself? What are you striving for in yourself? How do you see yourself? I mean, we know that we are... Um, working towards perfection in each, in each and every one of us and we have to visualize ourselves there like Vanessa always tells us visualize ourselves in this this better state of, of being so if we do this I, I always say the power of intention in my intention is to be like this when you put your your thoughts on something great and to help then it's a reminder constantly in yourself to change this. What, idea, what ideas do we nourish regarding time and opportunity? And if you remember, Carlos said, and this is another one that's coming, <clears throat> to use our time wisely. Even now that we are in lockdown at home, use our time wisely with our families as well and 
there are so much time we do translations and there's a lot of things that that can be done do we study the next one is what is the cause of our thoughts so our thought process especially in this time is it fear or is it faith are we are we um, do we have faith in the plan of God for all this and the change that is happening in this world do we have faith or are we fearful and that's the thing we need to work on our faith in in all this are we utilizing for the good the instruments and abilities that the lord of life have entrusted to us have we utilized for the good the abilities we every one of us have the ability um, to do something great and we need to know ourselves and this is the the biggest thing i think is to know who you are and to know what you can give and like like um the spirit helping carlos and all the the children working on the you know um that is what is good in them you have to work on what is good in you and don't be afraid of judgment but to know that we are here to work towards um, a spiritual life for the good and another thing is is to to actually study we have a lot of time now to study um, to read to do all these things that we never had time to do so we need to take the time that is given to us regardless of, of how it happened and to work towards these questions to look at ourselves and say where am i with these with these questions what is what is my um um where am i with with how i feel how i look at myself and what can i do to better everything what can i do to do more actually because all of us can give more of ourselves and then it says the end is it says such topics examined initially by our teachers in um, profitable classes of spiritual renewal during which we disclose our thoughts to each other through serene and honest stories and this is the thing we need to be and he says here a shed light on who we are and show us the extent of our needs because of the selfishness indifferences laziness in which we have lived for so long in the earthly realm realm the thing is is that we should not be lazy we shouldn't get lazy now that we are at home and we can't go anywhere we should actually now take the time and have a, a schedule do more read more work more there are so many um programs on Kodak radio that can help us that can so that we can actually learn what I do and I can give you I'll tell you this I have a, a diary and every um, lesson or everything that well, that is going on on Kodak radio everywhere I go or, or read or whatever I write it down because everything's got a message and at the end of the day Everything I did during the day or watch over, and I and I um, I take my diary everywhere I go, so that I, it can be a reminder. So you can go back to the lessons, the um, what the the great the good spirits gives us in each message, and you will see it all is like it's it's like a roadmap for us for the day. And in the end of the day, you can go to that roadmap and you can see what is asked of us in that day. What should we look at? Because sometimes we are in such a, you know, too busy, too fearful, too, everything is busy with the family at home and all that. But if you concentrate on that, and if you take the time to, to go back to that, you will um, constantly be in this peaceful mindset. Because you will have this reminder of hope, reminder of why are we here, what are we doing, and to do more and to reflect more to each other because we are like pebbles 
every thought, and this is what Carlos is saying as well, to control our thoughts. Because we know that we are, um, every thought goes into a universal, um, you know, thought process. And what are we? What are we putting in there? Are we putting, throwing the stone? Is it a stone of love? Is it positivity? Is it fear? Because everyone that is in contact with you will get the ripple of effect of every thought you give up. And this is why it's important. And it's not to say not to have that. But the point is, is to know and to be present enough to work on that thought. And if it's a problem and if you have a hard time, to pray about it. To be constantly in prayer and pray about this thing for help. And, um, you know, so that we can help one another. This is the time to do this. Is to work on ourselves but get yourselves a diary and and just see um, everything you read just just highlight this this is the message and this is the message for yourself maybe for each one of us is different but just the message that is true to your heart something that you feel that you you need out of this message in the end and in the end of the day go through that and then you will see that you had a, a wonderful message through the day, um, something to think about and to concentrate on so that we can, can um, help our, our way of thinking and be positive and be hopeful and be faithful so that everything will be okay. We will see each other next week and then it's going to be work the next chapter. May everybody have a wonderful, I think it's evening and this is afternoon in South Africa. Thank you so much for joining Gabriel. Thank you so much as well. Thank you. See each other next week. Bye-bye.